Hey there, everybody, Thet here, and welcome to Thet Play Civilization 6 Gathering Storm with mods. We are going to show the mod machine here, and uh, you can kind of see all the mods that we have. We got some new world wonders, we got improved AI, we got appeal and loyalty icons. It's really great. We got gold resources, we got some more units mods. We got some of the red mods, but not all of them. Uh, as you can see, some of them were labeled as non-compatible for reasons. Revenge of the Barbarians, for, which is pretty neat. It gives the Barbarians a unique unit tree. Religion expanded, a couple other things. I mean, if you know what civilization is, you probably have an idea of what a lot of these are. Some of them expand tall play, some of them expand wide play. But if you're wondering and if you're looking for them, go into the comment section below. Not the comment section, the description below. <laughs> and uh, take a sneak peek at the mods that are available and you'll get a good idea of, um, you know, what I have in there. I'm not going to have a list. I'm just going to have a link to the Steam page that has all the mods on it because that's a lot easier for me. Um, and that's how I roll, y'all. We are going to be playing, though, another game of Civ. Long awaited on the channel. I know. I know you guys are fans of Civ. And I'm a fan of Gilgamesh, so we're going to be playing as Gilgamesh, who has a Mesopotamian group icon on him now, as does everyone else have their own group. For example, uh, Gandhi is part of the South Asian group uh, with the caste system. Barbarossa, 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 um, part of the Central European group with the uh, Metaburg rights. Eleanor, East India companies, you know, Dido Imperium, Genghis, Hordes of the Steppe. It's all pretty great. It's just a little extra bonus on top of everything else. Old Gilga here has um, Code of Laws research. It starts with additional population for cities that are on rivers. It's pretty great. We're also going to go ahead and play on King difficulty. I think that's the last one I beat was King. I don't remember for sure, but that's the difficulty I'm going to play on right now. Then maybe we'll step it up in future playthroughs. Uh, we're going to be playing a long game. We're going to play Marathon, and we also have a modded area called Perfect World 6. I've heard it takes a long time to load. Uh, spoilers, it does. I loaded one before starting this recording, and it took, no joke, like 15 minutes. So I saved that one, and I came back here, and that's the one I'm going to load to actually play the game. Because <laughs> we're also playing on a huge map with high disaster intensity. In fact, let me just load the configuration. Load Let's Freaking Go. And you can see exactly what I have selected here. Random leaders. Got uh, Gathering Storm, Ancient Era, Marathons, Max City States, Max Disasters. Truly Abundant Resources, which is another mod. Should be resources out the wazoo. Um, we can start anywhere, not just in the quote-unquote old world. We are... We legendary starts because yeah nice all victories except score victory are available and i'm leaving score victory off because i don't want to turn time limit because screw that no duplicate civs no duplicate leaders no barbarians no teams no tribal villages and yes to shared visibility all right i would click start game here but it would take like 20 minutes so what i'll probably do is just record the intro for Gilgamesh, all the talking and stuff, and then cut to the actual end of inside the game part. Because I'm going to load that crap. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Much rests upon your shoulders, King Gilgamesh. Your own people, and many people of the world, look to you as a leader. But you are more than a mere man, and the weight of the world will never cause you to waver. Encourage the people of Suma to settle the fertile lands along rivers, and be sure to choose your allies carefully, for there will be many vying for a piece of your strength. Venture forth, for it is time to begin your epic tale. Eben, truly Eben. Of course, as Gilgamesh, we'll have Adventures of Enkaidu. The Cradle of Civilization, of course, extra population we start near rivers, Code of Laws research, extra food per adjacent wonder for farms. It's kind of neat. Epic quest, of course, when you capture a barbarian outpost you get a tribal reward village in addition to the usual gold 
pay half the usual cost to levy city states, war carts, and phalanxes now. Uh, that replaces spearmen. It's pretty neat. Sumerian unique ancient era unit that replaces the spearmen. The phalanx is available with the discovery of the mining technology, plus five if fighting within eight tiles of a ziggurat. It makes sense, actually, because even though the phalanx was made popular by the Greeks, you know, they were used by other civilizations as well, including Sumeria. All right. Welcome back. We are here. We have a uh, settler and three recommended places for settling. We have mercury. It's pretty great. We have wheat. It's pretty great. We have elephants. It's pretty great. Mushrooms. It's pretty. We have something on every tile, practically. Aloe, fish, she seashells by the seashore, uh, orcas, limestone, mm. wolves, which is apparently a luxury resource, seashells again, and oak. Yeah, everything is a luxury unit now. Or a luxury resource. We also started with Code of Laws. They didn't show it to you because, well, I missed the thing. But we also found the continent of Siberia. That's where we're starting. Get used to it. Let's go ahead and found our first city. I Starting next to the mountain, probably not the best idea. Problem is if I move. Mm. Yeah, let's start here anyway. Welcome to Uruk. Got to be a little bit wary of the nearby river, but it's okay. We'll get used to it. All right. Since we are playing on Marathon, it is going to take a little bit somewhere around forever to get anything. But we should basically start with Animal Husbandry because we're going to want these camps that are near us. And then for a Civic, since we already have Code of Laws, let's go ahead and go for Craftsmanship. Improve three tiles. We can get some builders. We can freaking do that, dude. Uh, they only cost 600 gold. Oh, Lord. This is the long haul, isn't it? All right. We are a chiefdom, but we do get to start with one of these. I do like starting with God King, although urban planning would be huge this early on. But I think I'm going to start with God King. And then give me civilized militia. It'll give us uh, more strength of fighting barbarians and extra experience for our recon units. Eventually, we're going to want a recon unit. Oh, wait, no, 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 I want to confirm this. My bad. There we go. Okay. Gilgamesh of the Sumerian Empire has begun. Let's go ahead and start us off with... I mean, I'm tempted to start off with a monument, but instead, I think I'm going to start with a builder. Which is probably a little controversial, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yo, warrior, do some exploration for me. Teach me about the land. We also have a new global relations button, which will show us who is related to whom and how. So that's neat. How often we'll actually use that, who even knows. All right, now we are God King Gilgamesh of the Sumerian Chiefdom. There's that. And yeah, extra titles and um, imperial, like, names. Yeah, I like it, okay? It's a nice little touch. It's a quality of life mod. That doesn't really affect your quality of life, just what words look like. Uh, there is a barbarian lookout, so we immediately have enemies. All right. Let's go ahead and start engaging them. Dude, look at these rivers! What is this Nihil-ass area we've started in? Holy cow. Oh, you attack me? All right, you're... You gotta watch out. These barbarians are legitimately giants. Thanks to the red mod pack, but... Uh, Man, it looks kind of cool when you're, you know, literally slaying down giants. Someone slay his ass, please. There you go. See, that looks awesome. You cannot deny this. All right, got a bit of experience. 45 to get to level 2. Good lord. There's a goodie hut over here. That is good. All right, and since we started next to a river, Uruk started with two population. It's pretty great. All right, theoretically, we could have taken advantage of that. Okay, they have bandits who are archers, which sucks for us because we have no way of getting close to them. Who the hell? Those are not normal warriors. Is that? Well, first of all, they're trying very hard. Are those eagle warriors? Or are those... Hmm. I can't... Oh, yeah, those are Eagle Warriors. Oh, crud. We start next to Aztec. 
That could be a problem. All right, move over here. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Nearby city, you test your skill at the game. All right, meet them. Uh, I don't think we need to declare anything yet. Oh, wow, they started next to a wonder. Mosaila Tonya. Probably butchered that, but that's just how it is. Provides fresh water, adjacent plots, yield plus two food. Oh, my lord. That is awesome. How fast can we get a war cart going? We also got some Eurekas from that. Uh, yeah, there they are. The good news is we're already ahead of them on population. I don't know, man. Aztecs can be some really bad business. They moved away from the enemy. Interesting tactic. We're going to move in. Because we get not only gold, but we also get a tribal prize from this. So, totally worth it for us. Nice pine over there. Progress toward military tradition. And 45 buckaroonies. Nice. Alright, we're up to... Oh, hey. Where did this builder come from? You know, I don't actually care. Get me a farm. All right. Maybe we all started with a builder and I just didn't even notice. However, yeah, they're a lot stronger than us. Well, to be fair, if we attack them, that would be a mistake anyway. But um, they have 28 base strength to our 20. We would need to hit hard on the technology front to make that worth anything. All right, let's fortify until healed. Uh, not much that our builder can do now, but once animal husbandry is done, we'll have two more things we can get. So that's what we're basically waiting for at this point. I guess there's a slim chance we could expand. No, we need irrigation to get the aloe. There's really not much to expand to as of yet. Don't worry, we'll figure it out, though. Go to sleep for right now. All right. We're in a bit of a holding pattern for a couple of turns. He is Chief Montezuma from the Aztec Chiefdom. I'm guessing that's he's just a chief because he doesn't have the Code of Laws yet. You know, actually, if we get this done, we can improve these and get a big boost to craftsmanship. The boosts are worth a lot more in a long game than they are in a short game. So I really want to concentrate on getting any kind of boost I can get. And meeting... Montezuma, even though it's not fantastic to find that the Aztecs are your neighbor, especially with the enhanced AI, it means they're almost definitely going to be more warlike. Eh. On the other hand, maybe we could turn him into an ally and, you know, enjoy the fruits of a chance at shared conquest. Who even knows? Anyway, there's us. We're neutral. We know that each other exists. It's pretty great. All right, keep exploring, little warrior. I don't need anything from you yet. All right, they've expanded the two population. Uruk is close to three out of six. Which is pretty good. We also have an amenity already. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there you go. There's the exploration going. Hmm. He likes us. All right. That's cool. Hmm. Fatalani. Uh, oh, he likes... He likes other civilizations that gather luxury resources. Ah, but he does not like civilizations who have ones he doesn't. So since we technically have none yet, he likes us. Yeah, he does have a builder. He also has, like, a... He started next to a world... A natural wonder, man. His city's gonna grow like crazy. Oh, man. It's gonna be nuts. What would it take to get us a scout? 360? That's actually not that expensive. I think we buy the scout once we can afford it. And then... 
probably concentrate on an expansion after that. Oh, good lord. Raiders. I believe the raiders are melee only, so they're not that big of a deal. They're just annoying. Helps that they can't reach Uruk. Not yet. Okay, two turns and we'll have animal husbandry, which is a big deal. And by two turns, I mean the end of this turn. Look at all the animals, dude. And the mushrooms and the stone. Abundant, you aren't kidding. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. How much you want to bet the rest of this has something on it as well, just undiscovered? There's horses right up there. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. What do we have that's already partially researched? It looks like astrology. Do we have anything near us that tells me that I want to get it immediately? Luxury mining for limestone. I think we're good with going with astrology and whatever, whatever we can get quickest. But we are definitely going to go ahead and build this camp. Well, at least you're straightforward about it. Oh, now you're a god king too, I see. Everybody's a god king up in this place. Everyone thinks they're all godly kings until, you know, the wrong people roll around. Um, how am I gonna do any? They have two horses down here. Oh my god, they're full of horse. I definitely want to finish that builder, but after that, I don't know, man. Oh, a war cart. Oh, yes. A war cart and then a settler. That's what I want to do. All right, once this is done, we're going to get a boost toward craftsmanship, which you can see right now it's at 42 turns. It's going to be a humongous boost. 41 turns down to... 17. That is humongous. So yeah, the longer your game, the more important it is you try to play it. Could buy a slinger? Is that worth anything? Uh, you know what? It is. It is because I think I'm going to go all in on trying to take down the Aztec early. All right, where'd my warrior at? All right, bring my boy back over here. It's only gonna take him 11 turns. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and explore to the north a little bit, just to see what's up here. Lots of animals. <laughs> like, oh my God, a lot of animals. Yeah, I think this was huge. Tomatoes. More horses? Okay, we start with a butt-ton of horses as well, so I'm less jealous about you guys right now. Still jealous, just less. I am definitely worried that their Eagle Warrior is almost fully healed now, but we can deal. Uh, go ahead and go to sleep for now, Builder. Alright, head over here. We're obviously not going to war anytime too soon anyway. Simply because it's not feasible yet. I'm going to go ahead and actually have the Slinger take this goodie hut. I don't know if we're going to have time to build. So you don't like us. It's way too early to denounce you. Hey. Berries? Ooh, wow. A free population point. Sweet. Hell yeah, I like that. We're already at three population, you lo- Oh god, that is a lot of war- Oh god, what? Help. I just want to pull my boys home. And now they have to find a way around, in theory. Oh god, this mountain range goes on forever, too. Well, the good news is, the war car is stronger than them. New outpost up here. Uh, all right. Slingers. Head back this way. Of course they have freaking archers. But the archers are really weak. They have an attack power of eight. 
Yeah, you know what? This is this should be free XP. I hope. <laughs> I mean, even in melee, you have an attack power of five. Um, what's your range attack? Twenty-five. I'm I've bricked over our soldiers. Yikes! They should be able to at least survive this, though. Actually, you know, if they survive this, that's a really good thing. Because that's actually a decent amount of free experience. And then we just pull them back to Uruk, have them heal up there. Yeah, you see, that was actually genius. Please don't chase me. <laughs> oh, damn it, they chased. God, there goes my slingers. <sighs> oh, well. God, someone else? A city-state. Zappa. Okay. Oh, dang it. Well, this was not the greatest start. All because I misread numbers. I really hope you guys can get back up there. This can be rebuilt. This stuff can all be rebuilt. Plus, our war cart's going to be done in four turns, and it's going to wreck them. Wait, what? Where'd you come from, buddy? I mean, yeah, I'll definitely take you on. Our warriors need the experience. All right. Boost toward bronze working is pretty great. I can guarantee you there's someone else going for that boost as well. These guys, I'm sure. However, if we've taken all the barbarian fights, we might have actually co-opted that from them. All right, keep heading northeast here. Of course, you guys have a scout. You have three units and a scout already? Right, right. That's right, you are on higher difficulty because, well, that just means you cheat. Move up, assert your dominance, and then make him move out of the way. There you go. Mission accomplished. Okay, we're going to have our war card here this turn. And I noticed that made them run away. They're going to spawn a regular unit after this. But, who but Sumeria can create the war card? And who can possibly resist it? Alright. Let's go ahead and start giving chase. Let's go ahead and have you guys continue making your settler. While we move north. Uh, at 200, we can create another slinger. So I'm not... Overly upset about that. Although I should have moved the builder over and had him repair. That's okay. All right. Builder, move. Repair. Cool. Okay, that's back. Let's go ahead and take out this unit first. All right. War carts are here. Let's do some damage. Slowly but surely. Is that other goody hut still over here? Doesn't look like it. Eh, well. They got like 200 units already, so I'm not surprised. I'm sure they're way ahead of me on... Yeah, they're already like top on military strength. With over 100 already. Gonna have to find a way to... Out... Out strength them. Somewhere in here. Hey, this is excellent experience, though. And soon it's going to be a free hut in our favor. Alright. Uh, yeah, go that direction and come back to our territory. That's exactly what I want. Wipe out this uh, unit here. Grab whatever this is. Free unit, free era score, of course. A little bit of money, and I missed what the other thing was. 
That's okay. Head back. Uh, it looks like this is... Well, there's a little river here, so it's not completely a dead end. Without craftsmanship. Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Production towards builders or production toward units? And then Abu Samel. A wonder. I want to keep gaining the resources here, I think. And this is only extra experience in combat against barbarians. And I don't think that's as useful as more production in the short term. So craftsmanship is done. Military tradition is next because I don't want to wait 105 turns for something new. 46 is bearable, you know? All right. War carts are back in. Go ahead and put them on a heal order. Astrology is going to be coming up here soon. Jeez, they're... I feel like they're huge already. I definitely want to have a city down here somewhere. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like that. All right. You know what? Go big or go home. I'm going to go ahead and denounce them now. Those who are afraid speak loudest. All right. Okay, if they have a city there, maybe I'll put a second one up here instead? Or maybe to the left here? I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. Stonehenge and shrines. Um, Archery would be nice, but I gotta get a kill with a slinger before we can get that. Let's go toward writing. Since we have a boost for that. So pottery's next. And there is no boost for pottery. So we're just going to have to swallow our pride and take 20 turns. Alright, what's the first one? Oh, great. A flood. That hurt us. Thanks. Wonderful. What is the first one that gives you government here? We're going to be looking... Actually, no, that's going to be in civics. Uh, we're going to be looking at state workforce. So we're going to need craftsmanship. Okay, so we can go after that next. Build any specialty district. Just get a boost on that. I do want to get that soon. Because governors are going to make a huge difference. Especially Pingala, I think, right here. <laughs> so that will be a nice, quick boost to resources. Alright, the war cart is good to go. Let's move it down. Apply some pressure. What I'm going to want to do is declare a formal war. If we have to. Let's see. How much longer do we have to wait for that? One more turn. Alright, well, that's easy. Alright. Move our warrior down as well. Our warrior... Could have problems. But I was able to buy a war cart from nothing. So that's... I'm feeling pretty good about that. Alright, there's a lot to be scared of when it comes to the war cart. As far as its capabilities and everything. But I still think it's... We got a lot going for us here. Let's do it. All right, dude. He mad. Of course, he's Montezuma. He's always mad. Let's move. He ain't paying to be happy. We got 11 income, which feels good. It feels nice to have that much income. I'm not sure if it's great, but it feels nice. This dude has more than double the science per turn than we do. What in the world? Alright. Well. 
we have more slap than he does, I think. I mean, he does have a lot of eagle warriors, but we have two war carts already, and war carts, pound for pound, are stronger than eagle warriors. So, you know, advantage us, I hope. Not to mention, if we can attack this this town right away, we might actually be able to blitz this town before they can defend it. Okay, they got a scout. Wow, that's... Uh, oh, the river defense is a big part of that. Um, oh, that, plus I was ha holding on to the wrong unit. Okay. Yeah, we can totally get a victory here. I'd like to siege the town if possible. Yeah, you're gonna have to move past that river, dude. So why don't you... Hold up for now. Yep, they're gonna attack across the river. Huge mistake! They're aggressive. Not smart. <laughs> Okay. Keep moving over here. I want this town surrounded. Fortify until healed, please. Zoshikalo will be ours. How did Uruk fall down in population? Did... What did I miss there? Okay. Okay, now we have good slaps all around. Um, do we give it two slaps on this turn? I think we do. Even with the river difficulty, we have a fairly strong advantage here. And once we take the city, this, the river difficulty becomes ours. There they come. Okay. They just realized something's going down. Okay. This could be a problem. Do we risk it and take the attack? No, I don't think we can do enough damage. You know what? I'm actually going to fall back. I'm going to fall back. Let the warriors come forward. Maybe even see if we can make... Yeah, make them attack us across the river. That's the strat. Okay. In which case, I shouldn't have fallen back here. That was my mistake. Come over here. Fortify. I don't think the warriors can win either way. I'm going to have you guys sit here and fortify. Attack us. Come on. I knew it, you greedy fucks. Okay, they took 33 damage, we took 25. That is advantage us. Okay, there's a barbarian camp way the hell down there. Okay, this war card is very close to a level up. Let's have the warriors come over here just to avoid a flank. Go ahead and just stay fortified. Across the river and into the woods. 47 damage back. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now that's a problem. I think they refused to attack the other one on purpose. Uh, let's fall back with this one. Try to heal up. This one can probably take two attacks. Let's see. He moved across the... Okay. He can't move now. Is the other one going to attack? He's not. Oh, you bastard. Alright, well, I don't want to lose the warrior, so I'm going to move you two around. Okay. Good stuff. We're almost at 200. Once we're at 200 gold, we can get a slinger in here. Dave. 
Chances are we're going to lose this battle fairly hard. Actually, that's not that hard a loss. Good lord. Move back. Fortify. Everyone else, stand your ground. Okay, you kill them. You get a promotion. The other one attacks you, I'm guessing? He did not. Yes! Oh. Now it's all coming together. Uh, let's go ahead and get charge. That was fantastic. Alright, we can harvest wheat once we have pottery. I don't know if we need to do that for anything, but we can. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. This gave them a big old oof. They swapped out warriors, I've noticed. I thought they could get that past me, but they can't. Not that easily, at least. Uh, let's have you guys move back over here. And go back into a defensive position. You stay defensive. That's what I thought. That's actually perfect, because then I can move these guys down here again. Okay. Get back into that spot. Defend. Alright. I think this war is actually going very much our way. I'm not sure if the enemy knows that. But I think it is. The problem, of course, is getting through these guys. But... Next turn, we can buy a slinger. We can get the slinger down here and get cart, cart, slinger? Or anything similar to that? They're getting a slinger, too. Um, we could do a lot more. But we're going to have to see where that ends up going next time. Here at that play, Civilization 6 Gathering Storm with mods. That's a long name. Uh, featuring... Sumeria. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because it's going to keep coming. And who knows when it'll stop coming, because there's no turn limits, my dudes. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you want the mod list, go ahead and check the link in the description, and I will see you in the next video.